Hello everyone, uh, once again welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Reviving Destinies here, yeah. uh, we revive Destinies, I'm back with another video, so today I'm going to talk about the issue, the controversial issue in the Christian world uh, in Africa today, uh, which we called Miracle Money, so I hope everyone uh, wants head of it, so the concept of Miracle Money, people say that they can pray for money as long as they have faith, uh, and money appeared from nowhere then uh, they can even use that money those are majority of the major christian churches prophetic ministries deliverance ministries that's what they are so today i'm going to visit scriptures and try to emphasize number of things uh, with that controversial issue of miracle money so uh, that's what i'm going to talk that's what i'm going to emphasize with you so i'm going to touch certain points uh, to be critical on the video and to make sure that I explain uh, things properly. So the first thing is that I'm going to touch the issue of miracles and I'm going to touch the issue of money. Firstly, I'm going to touch the issue of money, then the issue of miracles, then wrap up to see that is the miracle money biblical? Is this something which uh, the Bible want, God want, and try to emphasize this part. Let me start by the issue of money. So, uh, churches requires money to operate, to buy chairs, to buy each and every expenses in the church, uh, uh, requires money to be sustained and to uh, take care of the, the members who attend, the different members who are coming from different backgrounds. So that's uh, uh, the background of the staff, that's the background of the issue. But now, uh, as much as the church requires money, we should also emphasize that we should uh, differentiate be, uh, between the love of money and also money which has been needed. As much as we emphasize that uh, the church uh, need money for it to operate, but also the Bible condemns the love of money. The Bible says love of money is the root of evil. Love of money, not money. The love of money is the root of evil. Also, uh, money should not be the center of our gospel as much as we need it. Uh, the Bible says you cannot serve two masters at the same time, which is the Lord and money. So the money should not replace our Lord who is in heaven, should not replace our conviction, our faith of God. So this means the faith of God should remain the faith of God uh, and not be replaced with money. We should not prioritize money over the, 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 the faith of God, but as much as uh, uh, the faith of God is needed. However, it's not a sin for a person to be rich. Joseph was rich, uh, uh, Jacob was rich, uh, uh, all the servants of God, uh, majority of the servants of God, even Abraham, were in the Old Testament, were rich. In the New Testament, they didn't reveal uh, the source, they didn't reveal uh, people their income, whether they were rich or not. But Jesus Christ, the way they were describing him, he was not rich. Uh, he was just uh, a normal person. Uh, Paul was not rich. Uh, majority of the preachers in the New Testament, they were not rich. So that's how it is. So I hope I've emphasized three things with the issue of money, that to be rich is not a sin. Uh, love of money is a root of evil, as the scripture says. Uh, we should not replace the, uh, the conviction with money. And also I touched the issue that we require the money for uh, the ministry uh, to operate. So that's how it is. Then another thing is that uh, we will touch the issue of the uh, miracles now, as much as we are going to bring it together with uh, uh, the miracle between money. Uh, is, uh, miracles still exist in this generation. The Bible says the gospel of God is not in words, but is of the demonstration of power. Even if we can read the, uh, the Bible in the book of uh, Matthew chapter number 10, uh, the Bible told the disciples of the Lord that I send you like a, a, a sheep in the midst of wolves, but be wise like a serpent and humble like a dwarf. Also the Bible, if you can read it further, it tells them that <coughs> I've gave you power. Uh, uh, I've gave you power to pick up the serpents with your hands so that they cannot bite you, to drink up the deadly poisons uh, so that they cannot harm you. Uh, that's what the Bible says. Uh, but also, to, uh, the uh, correct interpretation of the scripture is that 
uh, 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 the Bible says we have given the power to pick up the serpents with our hands uh, and also to drink up the deadly poison. The scripture doesn't command the people to go and drink up the, the poison and not uh, harm them. The scripture just says if it happens that they poison you uh, and the Lord uh, allow you to eat those meal, to eat those stuff, the Lord is capable enough to just protect you even when you are being poisoned uh, even if it happened that you get beaten by a snake the lord is able to uh, protect you and even it can even happen on the uh, connotational uh, uh, basic also that uh, the lord can protect you from harmful uh, circumstances harmful environment harmful people toxic uh, uh, world uh, uh, but you should not go and test your Lord. How do we know that? Even the scripture teaches that, that do not test the God, your God. Whenever Jesus Christ was uh, being asked to throw himself away. So we don't test our Lord um, uh, uh, in the name of faith. So faith, uh, uh, we don't test uh, our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of faith. So now, uh, as much as I've emphasized that the miracles is even in the New Testament, the miracles are allowed, the miracles, they can still be manifested. Uh, servants of God, they can still uh, demonstrate the miracles. Uh, God can still manifest his power even in the New Testament. Uh, but now, let me combine these two things, the money and the uh, uh, <coughs> miracles, as much as I'm going back to the miracle money stuff. So, miracle money, uh, the, the stuff is that... Uh, <coughs> Uh, the money is required. The Lord God is able to uh, touch a person uh, from somewhere to come and donate you money, to come and help you financially. The Lord is able enough to uh, uh, help you uh, financially, uh, uh, miraculously. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the concept is just, you cannot say, I think now i come up on my thought and say let me pray for miracle money to manifest itself because now it will controverse with uh, the, uh, the the purpose of uh, the purpose of god it will controverse with what the lord requires there are some times where you are financially in need while is the lord which wants you to be financially in need remember the the journey which we go through as part of our life whatever we meet through is what the lord arranged to meet in that particular time so if you come up and say now i have a faith i can call up money from the blue you are controversing the scripture in the book of uh, proverbs chapter number two, uh, uh, 19 verse 21 which says uh, uh, many are the plans in a man's heart but it's the god the purpose that prevails meaning that you can have that plan of demonstrating the miracle money but now is the purpose of the Lord that will always prevail. Is the Lord want you to have money? Is the Lord want you to, 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 to make that money appear? Remember, we have that faith in the Lord and it grows. But as much as we have the faith in the Lord, we should also ask the permission from the Lord. The Lord is also the one who is the doer as much as we have the faith in him. Sometimes we can have that strong faith, strong conviction and pray for certain things and not receive them. Why? Because the Lord doesn't want us to have that thing. According to the purpose of God at that particular time, the Lord wants us not to have certain things. That is why if you can check the, the Bible in the book of Job. Job was a man who had a very strong conviction, who had a full trust in the Lord. But whenever Job uh, was, uh, his flesh was torn, then he, he, uh, he, the Lord was testing him. Because it was the purpose of God for him to go through what he was going through. Job, uh, even if he, he can pray for him to be rescued, but the Lord wants him to be in that circumstances to learn for certain stuff. So to answer the concept of miracle money, <coughs> It depends on God for us what we have, what we don't have. It depends on God what he wants to teach us. It depends on God for what we are at that particular region. If the Lord wants us to be somewhere, it, it is the Lord, is the purpose of God that will always prevail as much as uh, us, we require such things. So the miracle money concept is that the Lord is capable to touch a person to come and bless you, but only if it's the purpose of God. The Lord is able to bless you financially, miraculously, because miracles still exist. 
But it depends if it's the purpose of God. If it's not the purpose of God, miracle money stuff, uh, to just say it's, 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 it's all up on your faith, you can just think of something and pray for something to come to pass. That thing is not uh, biblical at all. <coughs> it's just uh, a stuff which need to be corrected. It, it need to be emphasized and corrected uh, according to the scriptures. So that's it, uh, which I wanted to emphasize uh, in that stuff. It is very, very sad to see that majority of the pastors who even believe of miracle money stuff, they don't even pray for miracle money to benefit themselves. They preach miracle money, people can demonstrate miracle money and demonstrate it in front of people, but later <coughs> they ask, they demand the same people tithes to find their church, offering to find their church, yet they tell them that if you have faith you can pray for money to come up from the blue and come and help you. The last example, if we can give in the Bible, Moses took up the staff and he opened the Red Sea. Why? <coughs> there was a reason why the Lord wanted to open the Red Sea, which was for the children of Israelites to pass when uh, the Egyptians were after them. He didn't just open it because he wanted to demonstrate the power. He opened it because he wanted the children of Israelites to pass. So the miracle of the Lord manifests itself for a reason, to rescue people, <coughs> to deliver people to do all that stuff so that's all i can say in this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe in my video please don't forget to like it share the video with other people and let me see you on the next video uh, i will hear you with the next video shalom